Hi, Josie. Sorry, my friends. <sighs> oh, well, let this in. <laughs> Welcome back to part two. My name is Paul Phillips, if you didn't know, also known as Journal Artista, and it's Saturday night. We had a little technical difficulties. It did say, like, your connection is slow, and we're trying to reconnect you. And I've seen other people where it's been slower than all of a sudden they just come back and it's been fine but i just restarted it so um uh, my apologies my friends that that is not good when you have to do two really screws everything up because you know nobody watches the second one ah well i'm just glad you guys are all back with me welcome linda so I did give this little time to dry on my plate when I've been doing this, um, like I was saying, I don't know what got cut off or what what didn't get cut off, or if you saw me put this layer of paint or not, but what I was saying is when I'm working in layers like this on my jelly plate, I'm usually, I don't sit down and, and let it dry, or sorry, I don't usually take a, a dryer to it. I put the plate off to the side, get out my art journal and start painting something else, kind of work on a bunch of different things. I was buffering for five minutes. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <sighs> oh, Cheryl, that's not good. All right. So it's pretty much dry after all that little intermittent. So we have some darker green and black. We have the lighter green on there with some of the color shifts, so it probably won't show up. So, oh yeah, with color shifts, you really have to use something dark. So I should pull this onto black, but if I pull it onto black, that green will not show up at all because that green, hmm, hmm. Thinking out loud, my friends. What color should I pick this up? I can't see anything anyway. Let's just pick it up with the red. What's the worst that can happen, my friends? It's a new bottle of primary red. Excuse me, I have one under here. Kathy thinks dark purple, but I don't know, Kathy. The only the Liquitex basic darker purple I have, I think, is translucent. Not that that makes a difference. I'm gonna pick it up in red. So it could be mud, my friends. Mud. It was the what does Patty say? That was the tube, not the artist. I don't know what Patty always says. <laughs> yep, it can happen. I end up with brown. So definitely jelly plating is the easiest on my hands. You know, I don't have to grip to hold this brayer. You know, I just kind of let the weight of the brayer you don't have to put the wind jelly plate and you don't have to press hard. Like I, I'm just, you know, you don't have to press hard to move the brayer around. You have to press hard when you're, when I'm picking this up, but all right, here we go. So this is just the next page in my art journal, not glued together, which I think is kind of a bad idea. And I know last time I said, Oh, from now on, I'm going to only use pages that are glued together. Well, I guess I lied. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just going in. We're just having, just having fun. I'm going to use the next part of that little piece. Uh, 
<laughs> not mud. Does like on this week, like look how rough I, I had the roughest week. I've got so many scrapes, bruises, cuts. Oh my word. All right. The thing, you know, I, when you're printing on such thin paper, you're going to get wrinkles. And then when there's wrinkles in the paper, then you just see the white of the paper or the white or the whatever color paper you're using come through. But so it's definitely not the precisest way to jelly print. But jelly printing, you know, model printing is not made to be, not meant to be precise. I guess it could be if you wanted to. All right. Well, there's a sneaky peek of what that looks like there. It's interesting. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. So I'm just being gentle. Whoa. Wow. It is, uh, it's red. Let's see. Let's see. Is my picture doing weird things again? Oh, hi, Shireen. If he, I, every time it does, I'm worried about maybe my camera's dying. I don't want to think about it. So it's it's definitely uh, interesting. It's red, so I'll definitely have to tone this down with some white. So the green, I love all the texture in it. I love how some of those artist seller stencils really do look like snowflakes. I don't think they're meant to be snowflakes, but they surely do. The the thing the thing is. What's getting to me? I, I know I thought about it the other day. I'm so, I've been so used to seeing acrylic paint on gesso, right? Acrylic paint on top of gesso is going to look more vibrant. It's not sinking into the paper. So when I see this red sinking into the paper where there's no gesso, it is so it looks muted to me, and I think that's what I'm reacting reacting to. I mean, it, it's it's supposed to be. Oh, let me. Hmm. I don't think using that color shift helped my situation. Made it look a little weird. So that'll be a challenge to finish. But it'll be fun adding different colors of green, bringing it back out. That's that's interesting. The red, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to use some white and just pick this up, I think, see what happens. Is my picture bad now? Put a good colleagues just put a Christmas tree on that page. Exactly. So nice. Oh, I got some more green. Oh, it'll turn out nice. That one will be a challenge. Because I know sometimes when I go up close, remember it my camera does weird things. I don't want my camera loves me. I love it. We are one too. So I'm gonna pick up, try to pick up these little this red. Need a thin layer. I put too much white on. Try to take some of that off. That's gonna.
Now, if I was more organized, I would take all of those and put them on other pieces of paper to get prints, but I'm not that organized. Or stick them into journals like I used to do. Although, I should say, I used to do that with sprayed stencils. If you do it with stencils that have paint on it, it's going to stick your book together. So, all right, let's try. I'm just making the most mess. Eileen told me to make a mess. I guess that's what's happening. So, I'm going to skip one page and then do this. I am going to have to heat gun my book. I think it's getting... I am going to have to heat dry the pages that I've already done. My stencils need a bath, that's for sure. When was the last time you made a mess, Eileen? An arty mess. What the? <laughs> it's just, it's just going to be all white. Oh, well, we're just making backgrounds. Oh, it's not picking up at all now. All right, we might have to get out the packing tape. All I got was a little bit of pink. But there's definitely, like, look, see where it's glared? Like that little... There's definitely some texture there. But nothing else. <laughs> Let's pick this up. I'm going to pick it up on. Let's just make a mess. Add a little pink. Okay, so I'm just grabbing what is whatever's around me, one of these old stencils. Like I said, if you're more prepared, to stamp off. Let's see. I'm going to use the back of this one, I think. Did, you, did one of you guys say that Kathy made a book using this paper? An art journal? Kathy Arbor? Oh, no. It was a paper bag journal. Yeah, my pixelation. Did I say Kathy Arbor? My apologies, Colleen. In my head, I said Kathy Berg. In my head, I meant Kathy. But did she, or did she, is that what this book is? Because her book is brown. So I don't know if it was made out of the brown type of paint, this painter's masking paper or a brown paper bags. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jilly. Shell in Missouri. I've used that paper as a cover of a traveler's notebook, glued several layers together. That's a good idea. So I'm having a hard time giving it a massage. It's making my fingers numb. Oh, that's a hot mess. 
I shouldn't say it's a hot mess. It's it's just a muddy, muddy boy. <laughs> that is not festive. Nor <laughs> All right, let's get some packing tape on this bad boy. Oh, did that paper just rip off? Welcome, Joy. Oh, Colleen, you made one out of mask and paper. Colleen is the scrap chick here on YouTube, C-H-I-C. Scrap chic spelled right. That's fun stuff. Oh, I'm so jealous of, of that Seven Gypsies ledger journal you've got there, Colleen. That stuff, like my Michaels, I even went, like when I went to get those color shifts a month ago, there is nothing new. Like my Michaels never got those books. Like, I don't know. I guess they're just not selling any paper products. And then they just moved a lot. So when I was in there the other day, well, it wasn't the other day. It was a couple weeks ago when I was in there when I bought those color shifts with my mom there. And they moved a whole bunch of stuff around to add two more, like a whole aisle for both sides of like silhouette and cricket and like die cut, those type of die cut machines. And I'm like, can it be that popular that it needs three aisles now? I guess nobody, nobody's buying the paper stuff. This isn't going so well, my friends. So it's made by Seven Gypsies. It's a full ledger. It's it's an art journal, and they were super super expensive. On was it at Baron Discord? Like fifty dollars if you wanted to buy off the website. Something crazy. All right, I'll put this off to the side for a second and dry a couple of those pages or uh, the stick in my journal. This page needs to, I need to heat gun it. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh boy, could be shifty. This, there is a few little goldy flakes peeking through. Heat gun. <laughs> It's a few years old now. Hi, Mickey. Yeah, you put some oil on your plate. After you wash. Like I said, I, I'm not the uh, most gentle with my plate. So, you know, it's got divots, it's got bumps, it's got scratches. It's It's been loved. <laughs> but I do because I use Liquitex Basics paint, it can get sticky if I don't have it dry. Mm -hmm. I do like that silver on the first one. And it's, I guess it is supposed to snow tomorrow. So have some, maybe I'll be in a wintry, it'll be, maybe it'll be perfect for the first day of December. It's supposed, we're supposed to get like 10 to 15 centimeters. One of Darcy's favorite journals is I need my recommend a few years ago. A big brown composition like book from Amazon. What? I don't remember that. That sounds interesting though. Oh. Right. 
excuse if he's gone. A brown composition book. Eileen's made so many recommendations over the years. She had like was it may have been made by a is it Advantis? I don't know why I'm thinking Advantis. Who bought out seven gypsies? I don't know. That's probably totally wrong. All right. I am determined to use some red that'll look, look nice. But maybe we should go back to blue. <laughs> oh. Hey, Julie. So apologies for the autofocus going in and off. So I definitely want to do one more full page because I've got this one in between. That's a whole lot of nothing. So we should have to try to add some layers to that. All right. Hey, Joy. No apologies for your computer computer freezing. It probably wasn't your computer, my friend. It was probably my video because <laughs> I had to start a part two. So my apologies for that. Oh, let's try some of this. The iridescent blue black PBO. Add that on the first layer. Back to my stencils. Oh, maybe not that one. Let's see. I like a little bit of something on that one. So these pure PBOs are iridescent, so I'm just building a layer. Make it a mess. Canvas court. Why was I thinking advantage? Canvas court. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, that was Jello. I loved what you did with your Pam character, what Colleen did with her uh, Pam character stencil and walnut inks. It was wonderful. I don't know. Simon just said, oh, my gosh. It makes me worried when he says stuff like that. I'm going to dry this one a little bit. And I'm going to put the, let's put some of the flake, the gold leaf flakes down. Look, because I can't open the bag because of the stupid staple right through the bag, all I have to do, move the bag around a little bit and I get some popping out. I bought these from Michael specifically for this technique. So they're already in little, little, little pieces. Probably not good to inhale these bad boys, so <laughs> don't, don't try to make them too airborne, I suppose. Little disclaimer there. I love those multicolored ones. Sorry, guys. Sorry again that my stupid thing had to restart. So that's like a little blue-black 
which is more blue. So let us pull that up uh, with just, what would happen? Is it enough color if I just pull it with white? Should we add another layer of something? Well, I'm such a sucker to try to get this red to work. Let's add just the tiniest bit of red. I just want to have a nice, some red on a page. But this paint, you know, maybe it's old, like it's could be separated, funny. It's definitely clumpy, so it's not the best quality. Like, I, I shouldn't expect anything good out of paint that's not exactly at its um, prime. It's not in its prime. We want a little bit of that red. Welcome, Jen. Not doing too much tonight. Just a little jelly pleating. I really, I mean, I have a whole, I have a theme, like an art journal page, a couple of them planned, but there was just, it, it required some fussy cutting. And that, unfortunately, just not happening tonight. So, option two. Oh. I had to fight the raccoons at work all, all week. Not literally, but oh my goodness, they just go in and out. And they're cute suckers. I mean, raccoons are cute, like super cute. But there's, <laughs> you just look, they just look at you and they know they're doing bad. And you're like, shoot, I'm like, get out of my garbage. Go, go. And they just look at you and then they just like saunter along. Doo -de -doo. <laughs> like, they don't even run. Oh, I mean, there's nothing we can do because there's like a big open field beside my work. So, you know. Other than try to get different garbage cans that are, but it's hard to have a garbage can that's raccoon proof that somebody can go through the drive-through in like to easily toss their garbage. You know what I mean? While they're in a while they're in a in their car, but they are cute. I got trash pandas. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> They do look like trash. <laughs> oh, there are cute little fluffy guys, but they're a pain in the butt. Trash pandas. <laughs> oh, I don't know if they're, yeah, I guess there's not. And then, you know, every customer at the drive-thru. Do you know there's a raccoon in your garbage? Yes, 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 I know. Just wait there one more minute. You'll see another one. <laughs> one will come out, and then the next guy will come out. I mean, there's coyotes around here and everything. So there's not that, like, you know, I live very close to the lake. Like, literally, I can walk to the lake and three minutes. So there's wildlife and not just the locals. Woo! I just, that just shifted a little bit. So I put my comp book right back down. Do a little massage. It definitely turns out nicer, my friends, if you are journal. Like if you're, if you're putting your journal right onto your plate it's definitely works better the better quality art journal you know the paper you have in your art journal like if you had your canson mixed media journal or whatnot you're definitely going to get better prints than this little super thin uh paper yeah i agree gene 
we we've tried to and boy do we get angry because it's it's really unsafe for the workers like when like people d- dump the craziest things into drive through trash cans like there was a crock pot in one of them i mean people just think it's their household garbage can like i don't need to be you know why are you throwing anyway i won't get that i won't go there but and then they get angry can you take my garbage through the window um no no i cannot take your garbage through and put it in my garbage in here. What are you talking about? Like, okay, I'm going to bring your your stuff from your car. This is a restaurant. I'm like, no, I can't take your garbage into a restaurant. Sorry. Thanks. Like, what is... Oh, my word. That's my favorite. Why can't you take my garbage? Because it's a restaurant. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man, like I was yelled at the other day. Oh, this one customer. We were busy. There's only two of us at the time. And, you know, I'm over to the side putting on some dark roast. I'm not near my cash. There's probably four people in line. My coworkers, probably four people in drive-thru. She's doing a one-man drive-thru. I'm in the front. So the guy comes in front of me, he says, I would like, and he started talking. I said, oh, my apologies, my friend. Just one moment. I'll meet you at the till. I just got to put this coffee up. I will have, or he said, I said a medium. Blah, blah. I said, one moment, my friend. I just have to do this. There's only two of us right now. Just give me a second. I'm going to run out of coffee. I need to put this on. I said I'd have, I said, my friend, this is for the last time, please just meet me over there. So. He says, why is your face so red? And I, <laughs> I was, why is, why is my face so red? I said, my apologies, my friend. It's hot in here. I'm a little flustered at the moment. I'll be happy to serve you now over here. <laughs> I was just like, oh, man. I love my job. I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, three times, three times, and then then to say why is my face so red? Okay, my friend, <laughs> there's a reason. <laughs> oh God, people get so serious. It's just coffee, my friends. It's just coffee. <laughs> oh. And let me tell you, I mean, I pride myself on my customer service. I go out and let me tell you, I put on my full act, my friends. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, oh my God, why is your face so red? <laughs> because I can't concentrate right now. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh. Let's see. So I've got some glare to my lights, but I'm trying to show you with the PBO blue black. So the problem is, my goldie bits kind of got covered in some pink. My Patty Tolly Parish gold flakes. So the red definitely showed up. I do like with the blue black how that little spot's going over there. Night, Dorothy. I mean, it's obviously, and, and he was just trying to poke me at that point, right? Because he was trying to get me to snap. Because that's why he knew my face was red, because I was holding back, right? That I was put, like, he knew that what he was doing was getting under my skin, right? I really like how, so see, because my book shifted a little bit, and then I had a little wrinkle in that paper, that's why you can, you just see the paper, it skipped that. So it broke up my print there, but it's still kind of cool. I really like I mean, it looks almost purple. That's fun. And I can definitely make that festive. You know, you see a little bit of that. I like that. That purple, what was this one again? That PBO? 
iridescent blue black but with the red and then the you know darker crusty bits for my hat that's nice i like that i'm just gonna dry it though because it's super sticky heat gun Oh yeah, some people they tr oh people try to get they try to get you in trouble on purpose. They're trying to get something for free, you know. Even when they see the supervisor on my shirt, like you know, people work customer service, my friends. You see all kinds. I see all kinds. But let me tell you, 90, 99 or ninety eight percent of my customers are absolutely wonderful. But you know, it does all it takes is that one that'll just I just laugh. In the moment, you just try to hold it together, and then after that, just laugh at it afterwards. <laughs> but it's, you know, people people love that. They they love. They don't know why somebody works in a fast food. They want to look down on you because you work in a fast food restaurant, right? Makes themselves feel better. They don't know what your background is, why you choose to work there, what you really do, what your education is, anything about you. They just want to look down on you because you must be the scum of the earth because you work in a fast food restaurant serving their coffee. Hard work, my friend. Let me tell you, I've never worked so hard in my life than working for minimum wage. And I slug boxes hard. <laughs> So when you work this way in a comp book, again, if you're, especially like me, if you're using Liquid Text Basics paint, my pages are sticky. Exactly, Michelle. Make it mandatory that everybody works in one, not even for a month. You, you only have to work for maybe two days and you'll get the full experience. <laughs> oh, oh, this one girl, she yelled at my poor young kid. I was so angry. Oh, what do people have to be so rude? Anyway, next topic, we could be talking about that all night. I really like this. Silver one will be fun. This one will be more of a challenge. That red because of the dullness of it. But we'll work through the uglies on that bad boy. This one will be pretty. I'm excited about this one. This one I might have, maybe I'll use for the Christmas party on Monday. So it's almost perfect. We have, no, because it'll be Sunday. And then this, we need to add some layers to that. But then we also did this one. I kind of like how the blue black, a little bit of that blue black PBO turned on to that. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, it was a troll. Uh, if you're watching the replay, I didn't mean that in a derogatory way. Somebody in the chat's named themselves. Oh, Jesus, Nicks. But Nicks spelled basketball way, like the like the Knickerbockers. So I like that. I might. I wonder how, is this paper, does it glue nicely or would it just be better to tip in? Like, would you collage this paper down or tip in or both? Because it's pretty wrinkled. It'll definitely, if I glue this in, it'll be a wrinkly page. But it would give it some sturdiness, that's for sure. I guess you could do either. But because I use the Liquitex Basics, my pages are sticky. I've had to, um, where's that? Like, look at this page is stuck together. 
And it's probably, it's not probably, it is because, excuse me, lots of times I'm not fully drying my pages in between layers. So that's, that never works out to my favor. So bubbles happen. Because the paint underneath another layer is, is heating up. So anyways, it's always... Make sure your pages are dry, my friends, or put a piece of something through it. Not through it, in between it. Which I did have. Where did it go? So, you know, my apologies again for the little hiccup in our stream interruption. But I did like a few starts. So even in, a, what do we do, an hour and a half? What do you do? Paula, what did you do to the left-hand side for a technique? The left-hand side for a technique. Left-hand side of what? My apologies, my friends. <laughs> he has trolled at DDs before. Interesting. Ah, there's trolls everywhere. They can lick that... They can uh, click the thumbs down button on their way out. <laughs> but I, did, I had fun, even in an hour and a half, you know, just to do simply three backgrounds. We got, I did a whole lot of talk and a whole lot of nothing. But some more papers. I had fun. My apologies for the cutout in the stream. Um, hopefully, Mr. Simon will not go back on live on his xbox next time <laughs> so starting tomorrow i am going to do 20 to 30 minute videos hopefully um some of them will be live some of them not a lot of them not i think i'm i'm just going to try to upload in private on here and uh do some finished pages i'm looking forward to that but thanks you for thanks everyone for being here it's, i know it's a short night I'm tired. <laughs> I've had a long, I had a long week, but I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you for all my friends in chat, my streamers that have inspired me all week. I've been watching Kathy Arbor, Kathy Berg, Colleen, who is the Scrap Chic, C H I C. I've watched Dee Dee Willingham, Janet M. Young. Uh, who else did I watch this week in the mornings and around? So thank you, Patty Tolly, Paris, Sandra. Uh, who is Scraps to Beauty. Is she Scraps to Beauty or is she Cudney now? But thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. As I get more and more back into art, hopefully my hands won't hurt so much. I have, <laughs> I have a fun art journal page uh, in mind with a cute title, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Um, so hopefully that next week. I'm going to be going to Day Shift soon, so I probably will insert another stream uh when that happens, so I will be able to stream twice a week. Right now, I still work afternoons 2 to 10, uh, later on at night, so obviously I can't stream at night. And uh, streaming before work is hard. I either like to either stream after work or, you know, on my days off. Streaming before I have to go to work is, I find that hard because, <laughs> anyways. But thank you, everyone, for being here again. Thank you again for all the love and support on my prior two videos um, when I speaking about my illness if you haven't watched that one go check it out it explains everything that's been going on thank you for the support over there and not sending me hate or any craziness and it's very interesting to hear other people's stories about it so I truly appreciate that all right my friends I don't know who's going to stream tomorrow but I hope somebody does and uh hope to see you all on the internets have a wonderful night